Hello everyone and welcome to my very first voiced video. Today we'll be going over one of many strategies to kill Kael'thas Sunstrider inside Tempest Keep. Now, I'm playing as a Retribution Paladin so the strategy might work out differently if you were a different class. Alright, let's get the show on the road. First off, if you are, like me, a Retribution Paladin, it is recommended to make yourself a macro in which you equip both the Cosmic Infuser Healing Maze and the Phase Shift Bulwark Tanking Shield, so you can buff yourself with the Cosmic Infuser's reduced fire and shadow damage buff, as well as use the Phase Shift Bulwark's Absorption Shield. I'll explain these later on. Secondly, if you have one, equip your PvP Trinket. If you are a human, of course, this isn't necessary. Trinket is very very useful, as there are many abilities that disorient or stun you for up to 8 seconds. Then, if you have enough money and are willing to spend it on this mount farming, you can buy yourself stamina scrolls as well as the drums of the forgotten kings to get the extra health and damage. I used a flask and food as well, everything counts. Ok, so for the first phase you'll be finding the 4 different counselors all one by one. You'll want them to die at certain areas so as not to fight them all at once during the third phase. The first two, Thaladrad and Sanguinar, will be brought to the entrance of the raid and killed off there. Thaladrad, being the slowest, will be killed last in phase 3, and Sanguinar third. Capernian will be killed close to the room where Kael'thas is, and she will be killed first in phase 3. Talonicus will be killed inside the Loot Reaver room, and he will be killed second in phase 3. For Thaladrad, you want to know three things, the debuff, the silence and the knockback. The knockback is the most important in phase 1, since you are near the entrance of the raid, you do not want to get knocked back outside and start all over. There are many corners and places where you can't be knocked out of, so it's best to hide in those corners. I chose the one close to the entrance, so Thaladrad is as far away from Kael'thas as possible. Now, the debuff is a bleeding debuff, which does a stacking bleeding damage. It seems harmless at first, but if you get this stack to 4 and higher, it can be pretty deadly. Just watch out for the counter as you're fighting him in phase 1 and 3. The last thing you want to know is the silence. A lot of paladin abilities can't be used when silenced. Save your holy power for when he silences you and use Templar's verdict and other melee abilities like Crusader Strike or Judgment. For Sanguinar, the only thing and most important thing is his fear. You'll want to run away from the raid entrance when you're going to fight him, so you won't get feared out. Other than that, he's just a tank and spank boss. If you want to, you can drag him near Thaladrat when he's almost dead, to get some more space in between Sanguinar and Kael'thas. After Sanguinar dies, you'll want to run back to Kael'thas, and on the way, you'll meet Capernian. When you do meet her, try not to run too close to her or she'll do an arcane explosion and possibly knock you off the platform. She'll also do a conflagration, which disorients you for about 8 seconds. Use your PvP trinket and continue running towards Kael'thas. When you are in a small room before entering the main hall where Kael'thas is, you'll want to hide in a corner and wait for Capernian to run in as well. If she's at the door casting fireballs, Make sure to run in right when she ca starts casting a fireball, so you won't get shot back when she does her arcane explosion. Depending on where Capernian is standing, make sure to get your back against the wall that's closest to her. This way the arcane explosion won't shoot you off as far, and you can kill her quickly. When Capernian dies, you want to run to the place where Loot Reaver is stationed, and when you enter the room, turn either right or left and hide in the corner or away from the trash. That is, if you haven't killed Loot Reaver. And last but not least is Talonicus. He'll do a debuff that periodically stuns you for a random amount of seconds. Try to kill Talonicus when your debuff reaches about 10-15 to 15 seconds. After he dies, it's time for the weapons. Run back where you killed Capernian and on the way you'll meet the weapons. Use any kind of AOE ability and nuke the weapons down. As a paladin, you can pick up the Cosmic Infuser and Phase Shift Balrog, as they really come in handy later on. Next up, you'll kill the four Counselor all together, or so Kael'thas thinks. You first run back to Capernaum and kill her first. Then it's Talonicus, Sanguinar and Thaladrad. They have more health and higher damage than the Phase 1, so watch out. 
When Capernaum dies, start running towards the room where Alar used to circle around. On the way, you'll meet Tolonicus Sanguinor and Thaladrad in that order. You'll kill them off and continue to the room of Alar and wait for Kelthas to join you. Phase 4 starts, the hardest part of everything. You'll want to get as much damage off them before starting to use defensive stances and buffs. I started using Seal of Insight very early but tried to avoid this as much as possible. If you have the Cosmic Infusion, check your buffs for the 50% reduced fire and shadow damage taken buff. Refresh this when you can, because it is really, really important. Use your phase shift Balrog when Kael'thas fires his Pyroblast and try to interrupt the second one. If you don't have enough damage on him to drop his shield, use a defensive cooldown for the second one and interrupt the third one. Also, use your interrupt. Try interrupting as many fireballs as you can. The damage you don't take from them is very nice. What you want to watch out for is the phoenixes. They die by themselves and turn into phoenix eggs. You'll want to nuke those eggs before the phoenixes come back to life. Too much phoenixes means you're going to die. Use your trinket when you feel like it, but don't try to use your bubble at all, since you'll want to save it for the fifth phase. When Kael'thas reaches 51%, Heal yourself up to fool with whatever you want. Lay on hands, flash of fire, word of glory, everything works, and switch to seal of truth. New Kale class as much as possible, blowing all your remaining cooldowns. At 50%, Kale Thass will start running back to where you started the encounter, and you'll run with him. Use any kind of ability, uh, or what I use is a swiftness potion, to keep up with him and take as much health off him as possible. This makes the last phase shorter. The last phase is where you will be reduced to 15k health and one fireball could kill you if you don't have the cosmic infusion above. If it's not on you, try interrupt the fireballs and get the buff up as soon as possible. Switch back to Seal of Insight before you're reduced to 15k health as the nether vapors will still do a decent amount of damage and ultimately kill you if you don't have the Seal of Insight on you. Now it's just a matter of killing Kale off and you'll be flying away from Tempest Keep on a new mount. Thanks for watching, uh, feel free to watch the complete video of my solo kill of Kale. Uh, subscribe, like, whatever you want, comment. If you have questions you can ask that in the comments as well. Um, yeah, that's it. Peace off.